That's the point of an emergency. Bible also say oppression is serious business. So we need to get serious about this business. Yes. Yes. Serious. Mm. We need to get serious seriously. We need to be very, very serious and strategic in our freedom and saving our babies and saving ourselves. We have had enough. We need to get our hearts right. We need to get our minds right. We need to be standing on and inside of myotic principles. We need to be operating from a spiritual base when we're ready to run. Because our ancestors sat there, I ain't never scared. Those was the looks on my ancestors' face. Google her ancestors. Just Google some images. Right, man? Just look at some images of the dogs and that, of them children seeing dogs come towards them. They got him like, uh, they can't even hold him. The children like this. Not us. I need some, I ain't never scared people around me. I ain't never scared. Cause we don't have time to be. Now if you can't say it, don't say it. Cause if you say you ain't never scared, I'm going to think you want to be there. And when I get up in the morning, and I fight a fight, and I work eight hours on a plantation, and then come work five more hours in UIP, and then go home to four children, one of which being a newborn, and I still gotta get my mind straight and figure out who I am, and exercise and read and pray, I expect you to be on point. And I have every right to be. Don't stand next to me if you're not ready. Get yourself ready, this is a serious, this is a serious, situation that's happening to us. If we think them 200 girls in Nigeria don't belong to us, we're sadly mistaken. They disappear, we going to work. Oh, 150, 179, 180. We talking about Steve-O on Love and Basketball. We, we liking stuff on Facebook, dumb stuff, Cat Williams said. And we not even thinking about our girls. Them girls disappearing. We don't know the society enough to know that when them girls start disappearing, then these girls start disappearing. Because if we can disassociate from those African girls, we'll disassociate from these African girls. And what happens when the problem comes to your door? Who's ready because who's disciplined? Who is, who is loyal? Who's dedicated? Who has evolved? Who has changed to the point of being willing to change? You have to change in order to change. That's the hardest thing for us to get. I'm just, I'm just not ready. I'm just, I'm just not there yet. I'm my guilty pleasure. I know. No. Not a guilty pleasure. You just playing guilty. You just playing guilty of 14 year old boys being shot in their home, in their beds. You guilty. You're guilty because your dedication is to remote control. Your dedication is to everything but yourself. You're not willing to get physically fit. We're not really willing to get there to go there. You gotta get there to go there. We think we just gonna go there when a the horn go off. When Imhotep call us, it just got real, Harmony. Oh, for real? Because I'm not ready. <laughs> I can't even walk up this path, Imhotep. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but it's the truth. What you want to do, Holly? It just got real, Holly. Meet me at the center in five. Pack anything you can go without and bring your baby. Let's go. Whatever you can't go without. One bag and a piece. I need you. What we gonna do? Who's ready? We can't, we scared, we jealous, we ratting each other, we gonna be ratting each other out, telling on each other, not trying to protect each other, hating on each other. No, that Bobby gave her water, he ain't give me no water, he know I'm thirsty too. They always try and give her something. Guys, don't she got enough? What kind of war are we fighting? We're gonna be killing each other. So I say all of that to say 
that if you're going to stand here and fight next to me, if you're going to be my sister, because I love my sisters, and sometimes we get there with each other, don't we, Nikiwa? We get there, not me and Nikiwa, that's my baby, but sometimes we get there, but don't, don't do, don't say nothing about my sister. Don't come for my sister. It will get real, real quick. But is everybody carrying it that way though? Does everybody feel that way though? We too busy being defensive to dedicate ourselves. We too busy, we too busy lying and being lazy to be loyal to anything. We have too many excuses to evolve. And we need to really be about that life because it's really not a game. We on the front line together. Let me know if you don't belong up here. Let me know if you're not really ready, really ready to give it away. Look at all these babies. The Bible shows us the babies in every study class. We just be, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They so cute. We do got a lot of babies. Come on, man, they want them babies. They ready to take mommy, even if he do look white, they want to take him out of here. They know he black. They ready to take my men. The Bible told us first, attack the men, rape and destroy the children, and rape and enslave the women, and rape the women and enslave the children. That's real. That is real talk. And we not ready. We too busy being secretive. Lying, we got too many lies and secrets, we don't even know what's really going on amongst us. We too busy focusing on everything else but our freedom, our sovereignty. What was always focused on. We had the people that were dedicated. They knew what time it was. And we don't. It's about that time to be about that life. Plain and simple. I'm going to leave you all with that. It's about that time to be about that life. Because like the Bible said, past the point of emergency, long time ago, it was serious and dangerous and hectic years ago. It's the truth now. It's real now. Homosexuality, imprisonment, children not being able, 13 year olds that can't read, don't know how to turn an eye into an uppercase eye when it's by itself. This is serious. Our, our boys can't read and write. Set up to be drug dealers. Girls too. Set up to sell their stuff to get where they got to go. And you ain't going far in this society with no drug dealer. We know that. And so it is a way far past about that time. So before you stand in line with me, please be sure that you're about this life. Let us know when you're not. Don't have us thinking you're ready to ride or die and you turn in as soon as it gets cold. It get cold a lot. Can I get a revolutionary put their hand up when it's cold every night? It's cold every night. It hurt every morning. It's degrading every day. It's discouraging all the time. That's the truth. It's hard always. I'm trying to save myself. I'm trying to save people that are under constant attack. It ain't never easy. It ain't never easy, but I ain't never scared. With that, I say, Ashe, I love y'all. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much.
because, you know, just saying things because it sounds nice, but I don't really mean it. That's not me. She did a great job. She had my undivided attention. And I apologize, Mama, because you was trying to hand me that, that phone to record her. <laughs> I was stuck on watching Harmony and taking notes. I took notes. You said some profound things. And one of the things that you say, you are not going to save the wretched by being the wretched. Yes. Everybody don't get that. Uh, I don't believe we all get it. Just from my nine years of being in this, this struggle, in this movie, we don't want to change certain things about us. We don't want to change things about our behavior. Like she said, we want to hold on to certain things. We want to hold that remote and hold our other things. We want to hold on to all our ratchetness <laughs> and our mouth and our, our perverted ways, our perverted way of thinking. Womanizing, jumping from man to man. I just want to be his booty call. You know, a lot of us don't want to let go of a lot of detrimental ways for us and for our people. Now, how are we gonna be out here on the front line talking about I'ma save my people? And we we got the enemy within us. We gotta purge that enemy within us. I don't care where you go. You come to study class every Sunday, you come to this lecture, you come to the marketplace, the enemy is right there in you. Might not be no Europeans in here, but it's in you, it's ingrained in us. We grew up with it. It was implicated to us. It was passed down from generation to generation to generation. And now we self-destructing. Now we're doing it ourselves. That's, that's the new age domestic neo-colonialism that we talk about on PLM. But now we're, we're destroying ourselves. Another profound thing that this sister said, I ain't never scared. I don't know about y'all, but a lot of what she said, I'll bring my rap song. <laughs> Different little things, but you can't be scared. 